ಸ್ವಾದಯನ್ನಿಹಸರ್ವೇಷಾಂತ್ರಯ್ಯಂತಾರ್ಥಂ ಸುದುರ್ಗ್ರಹಂ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರಯಾಮಸೀಂದ್ರ ತಂ ವಂದೇ ಯಾಮುನಾಹ್ವಯ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಯಾಮುನಾಯ ಯಾಮುನಾಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಯಾಮುನಾಯ ಯಾಮುನಾಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಯತ್ಪದೋರುಹಧ್ಯಾನ ವಿಧ್ವಸ್ತಾಶೇಷಕಲ್ಮಷ ವಸ್ತು ತಾಪಯಾತೋಹಂ ಯಾಮುನೇಯ ನಮಿ ತಂ ಸ್ವಧರ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಭಕ್ತೇಕಗೋಚರ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗೀತಾಶಾಸ್ತ್ರೆ ಸಮೀರಿತ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರಿಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಿ ಬಾಹ್ಯಂ ಬಹಿಪ್ರಿಯ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೀನ್ ವಿ ಹಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಎಟ್ ಪಾದೋ ನೃಣಾಂತೌ ದೃಮಜನ್ಮ ಭಾಗೋ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಾಣಿ ಆನು ರಜತೋ ಹರೇಭ್ಯೋ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಡಿನ್ ನೋ ವೇರ್ ದೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ but uh, we didn't go through the last two lines maybe okay bhakyam bahi kriya peksham antaram dhyanam we just, we just saw i think in a flash yoga stu dvidha ha prokta ha yoga is two of two types prokta ha said well said bhakyam ಬಾಹ್ಯ ಯೋಗ ಆಭ್ಯಂತರಂ ಯೋಗ ಬಾಹ್ಯ ಬಹಿ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಅಪೇಕ್ಷ ಔಟರ್ ಯೋಗ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಔಟರ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಹಿ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಔಟರ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಹಿ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಅಪೇಕ್ಷ ಆಂತರಂ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಮುಚ್ಚತೆ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಯೋಗ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಉಚ್ಚತೆ ಇಟ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಂತರಂ ಆಂತರಂ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಯೋಗ ಇಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಡಿಸಿಪ್ಲಿನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಯೋಗ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಡಿಸಿಪ್ಲಿನ್ Uh, we can go to the next uh, if you have any views on this that also we also saw this one 150 almost uh, finished 150 over we saw uh, up to 150 yeah. again we yeah we also saw this then uh this is this is the first one so 116 you have to you have to read this one manuhu in sanskrit the word manuhu meaning also mantra a spell is called a vedic uh, sentence the scriptural word is also called manu here this is refers to a king called manu he is called swayambhu manu number 1 he is number 1 manu number 1 there were 14 manus after that totally totally there were 14 kings uh, starting from the uh, sun god so here the uh, first manu wrote a smriti called manusmriti smriti is another name for dharma shastra 
Smriti is remembering, as you know, memory. So remember, uh, remembering the scripture. So Smriti will tell you the what we call detailed explanation of the scriptural idea. So here uh, the Manu is explained. So Manu is Manu Smriti. Uh, Manu said, you can say Manu said. Sankalpa, Vikalpa, Vrittikam, Antakkarana. Let, let me read this uh, paragraph. Tasya Adhyavasayatika Vrittihi Buddhihi. Yadva Tat Yeva Atra Adhyavasaya Vritti Vishistam Buddhiriti Vichate. Yatha Uttam Shari Rakabhashe. Now Shari Rakabhashe is called the Sibhashim of Amanuja. Uh, Amanuja Acharya. Adhyavasaya Abhimana Chinta Vritti Vedatu. Manaha Yeva Buddhi Ahankara Chitta Sadhaihi Vaparishate Iti. Indri Sadhahatra Go Bali Vardhan Nyayatu Bhashya Indriya Vitaya. So you can also take the word Manuhu as what we call Chintanam. That is what we call Antakkaranam. So Manuhu also gives you the meaning. Mananat Manuhu. So because of our thinking, our memory, our memory power, remembrance, we call the Manuhu. So what is this Manuhu? Sankalpa Vikalpa Vrittikam Antakkaranam. Antakkaranam is Manas, the inner organ. Karanam is action generally. But here Karanam becomes the sense organ. Antakkaranam is the inner sense organ. Inner sense organ is, it is not visible outside, it is not also physical, it has no shape, and it is abstract. And we call it a, a working of the brain and the heart, the two physical parts which give rise to what we call a thought process. And we have a Sankalpa and Vikalpa Vrittikam. It is called, uh, it's, uh, because it is neuter gender word, it is, uh, the word is finishing with vrittika. Uh, if it is feminine, it will be vrittihi or vrittika. Then if it is uh, masculine, it will be vrittika. Okay, that is uh, uh, just only grammatical. So vritti meaning process. Vritti means generally job, procedure. So what is that vritti? It contains two types. So one side is sankalpaha. Uh, you say decision. Uh, then vikalpaha. Our uh, opposite thought you can say. Or something uh, peculiar or something different from sankalpaha. Vikalpaha is deviation. I don't know I am uh, very much right or not but uh, later on we may have some more explanation of the word vikalpaha. Uh, kalpaha itself, kalpaha meaning imagination. It's all our imagination. When we say, when we do some action, we say we decide to do some action. And that decision, that is decision making, is called sankalpaha. We say, we say it orally. Uh, on such and such year, such and such, uh, what do you call, six month uh, time, that is Uttarayanam or Dakshinayanam. Then the season we refer, the month, the paksham, the fortnight, that is bright fortnight or dark fortnight. Then the star, the date, the, the date in the sense, Tithi. And then uh, to, today is Panchami, and therefore Panchami Tithi. Then you have what you call Karanam and Yoga. Karanam is another one, it has got, so you have got 27 Karanas and uh, each day has got a different Karanam. So this is what we call one of the five limbs of the calendar, Pancha Angam, Pancha Angam. Uh, Titi, Vara, Nakshatra, Yoga, Karanam. So Karanani. So, uh, karanam, that Karanam is different, but this Karanam is simple doing. So, Antakaranam is Manas, uh, heart, I mean mind, mind. So, Sankalpa Vikalpa Vrittikam, so it has got two processes, namely, 
decision and uh, change of decision also we do some we make some uh, decision and then later on we have a change and vikalpam is also what you call an exception rule a rule of exception uh, this is what we say for example uh, on on a dwadashi day dwadashi day according to uh, the dwadashi time the parana must be done the breakfast must be done uh, only when you fast the earlier day on ekadashi day we must fast and of course the shri vishnu sampradaya stresses on taking the breakfast uh, in the right time of dwadashi then uh, um, making a stress on fasting on the previous day so parana parana breakfast becomes the what we call becomes one of the vows vows eating is a vow uh he say i i live to eat i eat to live or i live to eat the so many items of food which we like to live. so vikalpa will be what we call exception to the rule so on the dwadashi day the sun the performance of the diurnal duty namely noon duty called madhyanikam normally it should be done we should be done by noon rather little before noon and uh, after after the before noon the offer of water the libation of water is offered by what you call gayatri mantra and then later on after after 12 noon we get up and finish the what you call upasthana mantra uh, that is that is after the uh, what you call meridian the middle meridian so that is uh, so but on dwadashi day because we are taking food earlier and again we are doing tiruvaradana for because we are taking food earlier so we are performing for just because we are performing tiruvaradana we have to perform madhyanikam earlier therefore it will be even morning 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock soon after sunrise soon after sunrise we do the noon duty so that is what we call vikalpa an exception to the rule something peculiar uh, so that then on that because of that day we cannot of course normally perform but when i when i go to office when i go to go to my institution then i have to finish before going therefore that is all that is taken as uh, the exceptional performance on dwadashi is extended to all other days so that is sangvikal so let us say let us go to the next sentence so tasya adhyavasaya atmika vrittihi buddhi now when we have a thought process ma antakaranam is manaha manaha maybe i think um, sorry this manuhu it is not manuhu it is manaha that then now only i realize that the first word is not manuhu it is manaha please take it up because there is no necessity of ma- name of manu coming here yes very good manaha i have to check it up with the original also if at all i am not right yeah i just checked it it's correct you're correct yeah so just now only really so tasya adhyavasayatmika no adhyavasayam is what we call when we thaw when we think of something the thought should be very serious it should be very deep thought there should be a total involvement otherwise there is no there is no um, uh, what do you call there is no use manas when we, you can think of many things at a time you can follow anything at a time by your thought you can do anything with your mind that is do anything um, unnecessary things necessary things all 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 put together you can perform many actions through by sankalpa or vikalpa but uh, deep involvement must be there 
and the deep involvement, the depth of involvement is buddhi. So intellect will be, you have, we have many thoughts, but uh, what is the priority? What is the priority of thought? What should we do? What is the first to do? What is the second to do? Which is preferred first? Well, where, where should we do? Or what should we do first and what should we do next? Then you apply your mind. You apply your mind. That application path is called buddhi. But it should be a deep involvement. It is not very simple. Again, you cannot be aloof. You cannot be indifferent. So, tasya adhyavasaya. Adhyavasaya. Uh, uh, what you call strenuous effort, what you call Herculean uh, effort, Himalayan, uh, you think of it as a Himalayan task, not that uh, it is very difficult to do that, but uh, let us do that, even if it is very difficult, let us do. So, Dasya, Dasya meaning Manasaha, uh, Adhyavasaya Atmika Vritti. So, the Action of the mind, which has got deep involvement, is called buddhi, intellect. That means you use your brain or heart, that is what you call manas, by differentiation of the good and bad. That means you have a discrimination power, and that is called buddhi. You choose something good, and you choose something, and you don't choose something bad. And you choose uh, because of many reasons. Uh, uh, you have a, you have what you call an argument within yourself. <coughs> Why we choose some action? Why we cho choose to make a decision of doing something? So the background. So here, what you call jnana yoga is apply applied. Jnana yoga is applied. So while you do. The karma yoga is applied. The manas, the mind directs us to do something. So we start doing. After we start doing, we realize that we are not on the right path. We are just deviating. Then we fix ourselves. When we fix ourselves, that becomes the intellect. Yadva, otherwise. Va means otherwise. Yadva, yatu, which, or else. Tadeva, atra, adhyavasaya, vritti, vishittam. The same thing is repeated in a different form. So, what is buddhihi? What is buddhihi? What is intellect? Uh, it's called discriminating inter intellect. So, buddhihi is here. So, atra, tadeva atra, that, that itself here, atra, adhyavasaya vritti vishittam. Buddhihi is here. It is uh, marked by, Vishittam is specially marked by Adhyavasaya Vartiti. The thought process leads to action, Karma Yoga. And the thought process uh, becomes what you call effortful, not effortless, effortful uh, involvement, Adhyavasaya. Uh, again, it is called uh, Adhi avasai. You jump over that, you say in English, you fall over it. Fall over. Fall over first. So when you talk of bhakti, when you, you fall over for the God. You fall over for the affection of the God. Preeti of Sriman Narayana, you fall, fall over, fall over. That means you are, you are unto it. You are deeply involved in it. Then Yatha Uktam, Yatha Uktam Chari Rakabhashe, as said in Sri uh, Bhashyam of Sri Ramanuja Acharya, uh, otherwise called Sri Bhashyam. Chari Rakam, what is Chari Rakam? Shariram is only, as you know, body. Shariram is all the creations. Shariram is what we call, in musical term, it is a, oh, the, the the capacity of the throat is called the sharia. Uh, how to, when you are able to sing well, you have, you say, we say that we have good sharia. 
that is because it is in the, in the, in the body, but in the inner part of the body, namely throat, which makes you sing very well, uh, clear clarity of sound and beautiful music also. But here, Sarira Kaha, Sariram Karoti Iti Sarira Kaha. Sarira, sarira kaha. Sarira kase idam sarira kaha. Meaning, sarira kaha means simple, simple meaning is Siman Narayana. Almighty. Sarira kaha is Almighty. Because he makes the, uh, of produces the creation. So he produces and then he maintains also. That's a, that's a beauty there. So he doesn't create and leave it at, at that stage. Again, of course, Brahma is employed. His 11 assistants are employed. Prajapati. So with that help, he is created. Uh, Sariraka Bhashyam is Lord Sriman Narayana's principles explained. So Adhyavasaya, then uh, so when you go deep into it, Adhyavasaya, uh, Abhimana, you get respect also. You get respect in the sense you, you, you have a regard for the idea. You have regard for the Lord, Abhimana. Abhimana is what you call, uh, Mana is respect. Abhimana is high respect. And uh, you love God. That's me, Abhima. Chinta, Chinta doesn't mean worry here. It's only a thought process. So Chinta Vritti. So Bedat, there may be some difference between your Adhyavasa and my Adhyavasa, your Abhimana and my Abhimana, my Chinta and your Chinta, and my Vritti and your Vritti. There are four, four aspects. Namely, your deep involvement, how much percentage? What will be my percentage? What will be your uh, abhimanam? The percentage of respect. How much do we respect God? How much do I respect God? Then chinta. How much you thought of, you, you think of God? How much I think of God? So I'll take the example of Gopikas. They say uh, one, one, uh, one by sixteenth second of forgetting the Lord, it becomes the era, becomes an era, yuga. And therefore, uh, chinta. Uh, what is the difference between you and I in thought? Chinta. Then vritti, action also. Chinta vritti is mental action. Where, um, ordinary vritti meaning physical action, namely karma. So this adhyavasaya becomes the bhakti yoga. Please remember, when you are deeply involved, it's called bhakti yoga. Then abhimana it gives you that is what we call prapatti yoga. Because you love, start loving God. You want to do prapatti. You, are, you don't want to stop with bhakti. Why do you want to do prapatti? Because you want to fall down at the feet of the Lord. Why do you want to fall down at the feet of the Lord? Because you love, you want to have affection of the Lord. Another fear is there. Another fear is of the That I will be punished for my sins. So in order to escape my sins also, I fall at the feet of the Lord. Then uh, I, I start loving the God because I have fear. So Chinta, Chinta also can say, worry, I am worried. Sumantra in Ramayana is worried. Vasishta is the priest for generations together. Vasishta is, uh, is a, what you call Brahma Rishi, first of the seven, who came out of the mind of the Lord. Shiman Narayan. Vasita lives forever. For all the kings of solar race, he is the priest. He is the Brihaspati. He is the Upadhyaya. He is the Acharya. But Sumantra is a minister. Sumantra is a minister. Sumantra was a minister to Dasarasa. And also earlier, Aja. And also earlier, um, uh, Raghu. And also earlier king, Dilip. Sumantra also is a long living person, just like Vasita. He says, I am worried. I don't want to be further uh, witness. Witness. What witness? Witness to what? I saw that Rama is banished for forest. 
so i am unlucky i am unlucky because i have seen the banishment of rama into the forest number 2 i am sorrowful i am sad because i saw sita being abducted by rama i heard that sita not see he doesn't say sita <coughs> he said the daughter in law of the solar race it is not it is to be shunned it should not be it's not a happen uh, yes a daughter in law of the ragu race ragu uh, ragu kulam ragu vamsham has been abducted by a demon so there are uh, two two points of sorrow for him so he says i am i am worried chinta chinta so we also have uh, for example in archavatara in archavatara we are worried why the vigraha is not sometimes becomes broken it falls down one of the limbs are cut then we we are, we are worried so how can it happen how to how to, how to do pariharam prayashtitam what is the remedy is there any is there any uh, return back to, return to the original form So we are worried about. Very hard, we are worried about it. Very hard, worried about the Lord. That is why in uh, we we I think you know all of us know in Vaishnava Sampradaya, the Vaishnava Sampradaya, we don't touch the flame of the Karpur Harati and uh, put it in our eyes. Uh, this thing, no, we don't do that because or uh, everybody else does does that. But uh, why is this, why is this is uh, it is what we call drishti parihara, drishti parihara. He say in Tamil, kan echil, kan echil. Uh, by looking at the Lord, everyone becomes uh, every even a devotee becomes uh, jealous. Oh, God is great. Why why he is only great, not others. Uh, he is controlling us. And therefore, uh, uh, so karpura harati, the what you call the lighting of the camphor or the lamp, in order to say, charanam pavitram vidatam puranam yena puta starati dushkritani yena pavitre na shudhe na puta ati papa namarati intare me lokas chatvara matchimat pavitram. ज्योतिष मध्यामहस्वत अमृत धारा बहुधा दोहमोन शरण नो लोके मंत्र वी डू कर्पूर हारती देन वी हेव वि वर्ड फ्रम पुरुषोत्तम तद्विष्णो परम पदम सदा पश्य दूरय दिवी वचक्षुरा तथम तद्विप्रासो विपन्नवो जागुवागुम सस्तमिंधते विष्णो यत्परम पदम पद्या जनंतराया वी गो नेक्स्ट सो व्हेन यू डू दिस कर्पूर हारति व्हाट इज कॉल्ड द लाइटिंग ऑफ द कैंफर एंड देन शोइंग द फेस ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड ऑल अदर डिवाइन लिम्स देन ऑल अदर वर्शिप अंतर्ज्योति किमी यमीना अंतर अंजन योग दृष्टि इन दर् हार्ट वी हेव टू कीप द लैंप इन दिन मै इन अवर हार्ट अंतर्ज्योति दट इज नॉट बिकॉज चिंता नवर अवर ओरी फॉर वी डोंट टच दि फ्लेम नॉट द फ्लेम शुड बी टच फ्लेम कैन दि दि फायर कैनाट बी टच शुड नॉट बी टच Uh, fire cannot be touched because of its heat. So it should not be touched because of its uh, purity. Therefore, uh, so chinta. Why? Why is this worry? Worry also. We are worried about God. We, when He is to worry about us, we are worried about Him. So in, that is what we call mutual, mutual uh, affection. So here chinta, then chinta, vritti. That's called buddhi. Uh, here, adhyavasaya, abhimana, chinta, vritti. 
வேதாத்து பை த டிஃபரன்ஸ் என்ற மனக ஏவ புத்தி அகங்கார சித்த சப்தி ஜபதிச்சது போர் வேர்ட்ஸ் மனக புத்தி புத்தி அகங்கார சித்தம் ஆல் தி போர் வேர்ட் ஆர் நாட் டிஃபரண்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஈச் அதர் தே ஆர் சினானிம்ஸ் தே ஆர் சினானிம்ஸ் பரியாய பதானி விசேன் சாங்க சினானிம்ஸ் ஹவு டு தே கிவ் தி சேம் மீனிங் மனக த மைண்ட் இஸ் ஏ இன் இங்கிலீஷ் ஹார்ட் ஆல்சோ so it is equivalent to intellect so intellect is on the mind then you have bad intellect also ahankara i am egoistic i am proud of myself i am haughty that ahankaram is also now there are there are two types of ahankara sattvik ahankara and tamasik ahankara even i can also have rajasik ahankara so you have, you have a legitimate pride that uh, you are a devotee of god but you can have all the illegitimate pride in the sense unnecessary pride that i am the only devotee of the lord alva says ni indi naan ilai naan indi ni ilai if there is no if there is no devotee there is no god necessary there is no god there is no there is no devotee so ahankara is a what we call exclusive devotion that what i want to have ahankara ahankara is i am egoistic because i want to have exclusive devotion my god belongs to me only that is ahankara ahankara the good ahankara then chittam again the meaning of the word namely mind 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 heart 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 so all these four are the synonyms so shabdaihi by the word yapadishyate is denoted so manaha eva the mind only is uh, called in otherwise as intellect buddhi ahankara the egoism you can't call it as egoism so what is called good uh, good thought because Uh, there are two uh, two uh, angles of two shades of ahankara so let me when i when i say i have ahankara i want to probe myself i want to understand the individual soul and therefore ahankara i i want to know who i am i who i am who i am i want to know who i am again we saw who i am earlier who i am i am i have a limited freedom i am held helpless and so on so all all what you call lower qualities than the lord then another ahankara is you say brahma aham asti brahmaivaham vedavakya says brahmaivaham lord is myself lord is i so again i say aham brahma asti i am the lord i am the lord so there you understand because because as an individual soul the inner soul is paramatma and therefore uh, ahankara always 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 talking about our uh, permanent connection with the lord then chitta so these four are synonyms then indriya shabda the next one is what is called organ sense organ sense organ indriya shabda do do manasa manaha the word mind is also called the 11th sense organ it is little different because other indriyas are bahya indriya whereas this is what we call antar indriya antara antaraha antaram indriyam means inner indriyam is called manas the bahir indriyam the outer the outer sense organs are namely uh, karma indriya five jnana indriya five they were totally ten they are called bahya indriya so you know the uh, other ten need not elaborate but uh, the what is the logic behind it uh, lord is lord is the indriya vishaya last word vishaya what is the matter for these organs sense organs 
only matter that should be uh, there for all Zend organs is Lord Sivan Naraya. No other thought. Spirit, only spiritual thoughts. And again, spiritual thought means only that spirit, the highest spirit. So, Bhakya Indriya Vishaya. So, whether it is Manand or Bhakya Indriya, the matter to be, matter in concern is Lord Sivan Naraya. But uh, how is it, uh, what is the logic behind it? Go Bali Vardhan Nyayati. Now, uh, please remember here, Go will be uh, Mahalakshmi, Bali Varda will be Mahalakshmi. The divine couple will be our target. The divine couple will be the matter for discussion. So Go Bali, Go, Go Cow. Bali Varda is bull. Bali Varda, the word Bali Varda, you understand that it is stronger, bull is stronger. If you drive the bull, it will run away. No, sorry, drive the cow, it will run away. But the bull, if you want to drive the bull, then it will uh, oppose you. It has a manly quality. So, Bali Varda. So, go Bali Varda. Now, the word, the logic behind this is, somebody is asking, bring my cow. He is asking his uh, assistant, Go and bring my cow. He does not know what is or what what cow is. So innocent, so ignorant that the assistant does not know what 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 is the difference between a cow and a bull. So he brings the bull. That is the story behind it. A small anecdote behind it. So go believer the nyaya means whether it is cow or bull. The what do you, what do you understand here is jati is same. The species is same. Uh, you call it cattle. You call it cattle. Cattle, of course, includes I think uh, goats also. Uh, what do you call it? sheep and goats also. But we are talking about only this go balivarda. So go balivarda is. Um, in the recognition, the recognition of a cow and a bull, the recognition of the difference between the cow and the bull uh, is also not uh, not very much necessary because Mahalakshmi and Mahavishnu are one and the same. You need not differentiate uh, between them and say one is superior, the other is inferior, the one is a master and the other is a servant. The one is uh, Vibhu and the other is Anu. One is Jiva Koti and the other is uh, Brahma Koti. So you do not argue with that because both of them are on equal status. So go believe Varda. And without uh, these two, namely bull and cow, you don't have creation. Therefore, so Indriya Shabda Hatra, uh, it is synonymous with, uh, it is synonymous with the what we call the antar indriyam manaha, bhakya indriyam outer sense organ. So, what is the difference between the outer sense organ and the inner sense organ? Upanishad says there is a there is what we call mix up of action. Mix up of action. You can hear through eyes, you can see through ears. That's what the Upanishad says. You can do anything in as a release to soul. You need not fix any particular action for the sense organ. That means the even thinking, the even the thought process is also involved in the what you call karma indriya and jnana indriya. Because jnana indriya, the word jnana indriya itself shows that you have wisdom. The wisdom is uh, uh, wisdom involves thought process, and therefore you have manas also there. So there is no indriya difference in. Uh, Released soul. No, I am, we are not talking about any released soul here, but uh, just to bring in the picture. What is, well, the, the difference is not there between the manas and bhakti uh, indri. That's the beauty here. So, what do you call in, include everything here? Uh, Lord gives us the blessing of 
combining this uh, sense organs, uh, motor sense organs, wisdom sense organs with the mind also. So, uh, as you know that while we think of something, while we think of doing something, the sense organs also should cooperate with the mind. I want to enjoy some beauty, meaning I, my eyes should be, uh, help. Uh, so this way, so all our sense organs are involved in association with the mind, and therefore they are not um, different. Just like Lord Shiva Narayana with uh, Mahalakshmi are not different from each other. It is in the what you call logic of cow and bull. It's only called female and male principle. That's all. Well, if you want to say principle, female principle and male principle. Though, though in Sanskrit, all the sons organs are in Napam Sekalinga, neutral gender, including Manas, 11th Indriyam, the 11th sense organ, all of them are Napam Sekalinga. In the sense, ah, the individual soul, namely Jivatma, that is me, should be able to control all these levels. They are, they are, they are, they are only our servants. They should be our servants. They cannot be our masters. And that is because of the blessing of the Lord. That comes to the last word. Open to. So, Swami, you were mentioning about uh, in Sri Vaishnava Sampadaya, nobody touches the flame? Yeah. How, how do we, how to respect the flame then? The yeah, flame is a person. To fold our palms together. Just do this. Yeah. <clears throat> we, we don't entertain the priest coming near and showing the flame. He will, he will just observe in any temple. He will not show to any Vaishi Vaishnava. He will not bring, he bring it near the Sri Vaishnava. He knows that he will not touch. So, for others, for the sake of satisfaction of others, they, he will bring it near. Otherwise, they will get angry also. The devotees become angry. Oh, he, the priest has not brought it to them. So, in a, in a Sri Vaishnava Ghosti, somebody yeah. is offering the Harati, yeah. and uh, he will, he, will he, he'll show it to them? And or not? Yeah. You know, you know in bhajans, in where a very, very heavy crowd of devotees are there, then they will... Uh, once you show, show their harati, draw the harati, karpura nirajanam, and then they will show from the stage long, in a long distance uh, to the uh, audience, complete uh, assembly. Then all of them will uh, put their hands up. Well, there is no time to do it, there is no space to do it, there is no. Uh, but, but is it absolutely forbidden? Uh, it's still forbidden. It's forbidden for Sri Vaishnavas. Yeah. Why is it forbidden? That's why I said the Drishti Parihara. The very, the very Karpura Nirajanam, Harati, is meant to avoid the evil eye on the Lord. Okay. However, the evil eye on the Lord means it will not affect him, but it is our affection. So, so we are, we are taking the, the mood of Peri uh, that he, yeah. because this is when he saw, when he saw the Lord coming on Garuda Vahanam, then in, in uh, Madurai, then he, right. then he, this is why he blessed him to live a thousand years, Palanda right. Palanda, Palaya right. Rathanda, that uh, because he, he felt that maybe the Lord is going to have some problem. Yeah. So, uh, at that time, he, did he see, were they doing Harati? Uh, no, I mean, we, are, we, are, we, are, we have no idea of that, because um, there are bad times. Sometimes, sometimes when they do the uh, Parapada, when they do the, when they do the procession, Parapada, yeah. they, when they stop, sometimes they do a Harati. Harati. Every time. Every time you offer a camphor, 
then you, they will do it for you. Many people are they, they many are people are offering of, many people are offering hearty when the Lord goes in the procession. Right, because because they cannot go near. Right, they so, do it from their uh, warm from their place. house from their front porch. From their house. Yeah, and some people also coconuts. Some people are breaking the coconuts also. Yeah, so this is also and, uh, a pariharam. This is also a pariharam. Uh, they are offering yes the what we call Tamil shidar tengai. They break it uh, into many pieces, and that is that is offered to him. It's an offer to him. Before and during the car festival, they yeah. light the camper uh, on the road or. It's all Kapama Bhakti. Is it acceptable to light those camphor on the road? Yeah, they are doing it. And in spite of it, I mean, in spite of the instruction not to do it because we will be stamping on them. I mean, inadvertently, we will be putting out not, not only the fire, but we'll be stamping on the camphor. Yeah, you burn your feet, yeah. The, uh... Even this. Uh, even this, many people do not uh, uh, approve of breaking the coconut, breaking of the rather, rather, what you call the pumpkin on the road uh, on Friday night uh, when the shops are closed uh, for the sake of uh, what you call Drishti Pariharam, uh, uh, avoiding the evil light, they will break the uh, Pushini card. The, Pumpkin. The big, um, the, pump, pump, pumpkin is actually parangit. This is a white ash gourd. Ash gourd. Ash gourd. Yeah. 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 But people are doing it also for the Vastu Puja. Yeah. So what happens is when the vehicle, your car comes, it may skid. And that is a, that's a problem. I see. That's what they, many people don't, they don't want to be done. They don't want, it, want them to do it on the road. They have to uh, do it in a corner. Do it somebody else, yeah. Uh, they also, when they, the when they do the car puja, when they do the car puja, they yeah. put, they take lemons. They put lemons, lemons underneath yeah. the uh, tires. Four wheels, yeah. The, the lemons should be squashed. Yeah, squashed. Okay, right. so the, these are all pariharams. And, and, uh, when they when they do the uh, when they break the coconut in front of the ratam the tear, they they put they some people are putting the camphor on the on the coconut on, on, on the and coconut. doing a harati. Yeah. But when they do the harati, I see they do uh, they do pradakshina and aparadakshina. Um, Why? Sometimes sometimes we do on the, I mean, three pradakshina and uh, three aparadakshina uh, also. But why why our production? And that uh, there is only a what we call some the practice of the family. Yeah, and then when and then when the when the when they have the big uh, ratotsavam in Sri Rangam, the the uh, not Thai tear Thai tear is a small one and Goratam is yeah. a small one, but yeah. then the the other Chitrai Ratam is a big one. Yeah. At the time of Chitrai Ratam, the people come from the villages, and those people come outside my house, yeah. and they offer the harati in the hand. Uh, they put oh, the yeah. kapuram in the hand. Yeah. Right. Sometimes on the tongue. Oh. And they they're offering. <laughs> they're they're so offering harati. Bhakti. and and they're cra bhakti. cracking coconuts on the head. Uh, on the head also. Yeah. Some they, temples even do today. They go and shave the head down at, down yeah. in the cavalry. They shave the head and then they come yeah. with shaved head and break the coconut on the head. Yeah. But uh, they 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 can bear it. They like it. Yeah, they like. They don't mind it. No. Yeah. I think you saw in Bali when you went to Bali. You may have seen the the Hindus there. They are stabbing themselves with the with the knives. Oh, yeah. With the oh. daggers. In, oh. Because they're in trance, in trance. Oh, oh, oh. So they have some trance there. Oh. I think in India also these people, these people are having some trance. 
Sometimes we see these uh, Murgan Bhaktas, they have the trees. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In the... Uh, Amman Bhaktas also. Amman Bhaktas. Yeah, uh, Amman Bhaktas. Yeah, Bhakta. yeah, yeah. 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 But, uh, but sometimes, I, I didn't say before many Vaishnavas are doing this, but sometimes... Uh, we don't recommend violent bhakti. No, no, no violent bhakti for us. Yeah. But we should try to take the... The, the we should do the Subhadristi for Sriman Narayana. Yeah. Subhadristi. Keep a, keep okay. the evil eye off him. Yeah, yeah. So so uh Mother Yasoda Yasoda, yeah. she is uh she, they do things for the baby, they put a black mark on the chin. On the uh, uh, yeah, on the face there's a black mark. Cheek, on the, the cheek, on the cheek. Yeah, yeah. with the cudgel. Yeah. The camphor, uh, the cudgel, black black yeah. cudgel, and this is yeah, this right. keeps away the evil eye. And yeah. some so in North India, I have also seen that they the babies wear a black string. Oh yeah. yeah, this is also for the evil eye. Yeah. So and we have uh, yeah what do you call uh, arayyan kayar uh, a, a small thread. Uh, uh, with, uh, with the silver um, article um, in the in the silver article uh, there there is a cylinder there is a cylinder there is what we call a dog figure uh, silver figure a, a dog like figure and then uh, we have this uh, within the cylinder uh, uh, article madam santa madam knows that uh, the umbilical cord cut by the doctor in the hospital, a piece of it is kept in, in the cylinder. This is like a, a small piece. container, a tubbies, tubbies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and at, in the tubbies, they keep uh, the umbilical cord, some yeah. piece. Yeah, some piece. And, the, and uh, the baby wears this? Yeah. Really? Uh, in Tamil Nadu, in Tamil Nadu uh, only. Uh, is it in Tamil Nadu or in whole of India? In Tamil, in Tamil Nadu, we have we are using it. I see, and the baby has to wear this up until uh, until what until what age? Um, I mean, I, it grows bigger than I mean, well, is able to walk and run. And... Okay. Uh, that's, even that's even. Another... Even Sri Vaishnavas are doing this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They wear, wear it around the waist of the baby. Around yeah. the waist of the baby? You know, you know the waist, you know. Just between the Inga Mama, so the Laka, between the Ilya Mama, Arna Kair, then the children. Ama Arna Kair. Arna Kair, Arna Kair. Nai, Padam, Nai, Nai, or Shapla, or Veli. I'm married. Okay, so there has to be some some so there has to be some umbilical there inside yeah. the tubbies and also there has to be a silver figure of a dog. Yeah. Dog also. One minute, uh, Sudha. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm not aware of that. I'm not aware of that, but I can see the Arna Kair Cutters is very important. Yeah. Ah, Arna Kair is very important. Yeah. Arna Kair is Arna Kair. Arai non Kair. Arai is hip. Arai is hip. Amma. Uh, All right. Non, non means uh, uh, a rope. Hip rope. You will see yeah, in Sri Rangam, temple, Rangam temple stores a black thread hanging. Black or a red wow. thread. Yeah. Nai kasu. Nai kasu. Some jujum the the kala the the chandra kala shaped some half moon shaped. Uh, killer, 
Chandra Prabha and Surya Prabha. Chandra and Surya. Okay. So yeah, this uh, in in English we call it an amulet. Yes. Uh, amulet yeah. for the hands. It is round the and wrist. Two, and two uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, Chinnas. Uh, no, Mark, no, marks of marks of sun and moon. Cube, yeah. And yeah. The, Surya uh, chin, two chinna. Huh? Two balls. Two cubes. Two tubes. Yeah, money, money. money. Yeah, that's called cube. Like Sanjana like on a mangalium. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like on a mangalium. Yeah. Tube, tube. Okay. Yeah. Like a like a bead, silver bead, yeah. but it has a hole. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So I learned something new today. Uh, <laughs> I I don't really have any question about this uh, this particular part of the uh, the commentary, but except that except to say that that here he is saying that uh, manaha, buddhi, ahankar, chitta, all these things are the same. Yeah. You said they're synonymous. synonymous. But uh, in the Gita, Krishna says they are different. He says, So he, so th he says, He says, He says, He says, There is eight. Astada. So he, Krishna makes a distinction between uh, Ahankara, Buddhi, Manas. But here, uh, Vedanta is saying they're understand. all the same. Yeah. First, we have to understand they are what's a different, and then um, next step, next step, we have to understand they are one and the same. Right. So this is a higher understanding. Also, I also, uh, I can understand from the point of view of Vedanta Deshika here, he is saying that there is internal indriyas and external indriyas. Oh. So from the from the point of from the point of view of Internal and external, manas, buddhi, ahankar, chitta, these are all internal. Yeah. So in that sense, they're the same. Just like, right. just like the cow and the bull are the same. Right? right? Yeah. The cow and the bull are the same, genus, the same, the same species as you said. Right. But uh, if we look closer, we see that the cow and the bull are a little bit different. Yeah. One is male, one is female. Yeah. One is what is passive, one is active, yeah. right? One has yeah. more hunkar, one is you right? Yeah, so just like uh, you're explaining, just like the Lord and Mahalakshmi, right? So, so they're the same in one sense because they're they're uh, they're there are there are masters, there are um, they're uh, they're they're the Godhead, but uh. Yeah. They are also different in a way, like the cow and the bull. One of yeah. them may be very angry with us, and one of them is very compassionate for us. Yeah. So, uh, right, you are right. You are, you are interpretation is also yeah. Well. So if well. so if if we want to get the milk, if we want to get the nectar, the amrita, we have to go to the cow. Yeah. yeah. If we want the wishes to be fulfilled, we have to go to the kamadenu, not yeah. to the bull. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we have to approach Mahalakshmi, and yeah. only through approaching Mahalakshmi we can get the grace of Sri Narayana. Right. And again, uh, as uh, I said to you just now, I mean, uh, the connection between the um, internal sense organ and external sense organ is never uh, dealing. Never dealing. Dealing. The connection never is never, never cut off. Oh, right. And therefore, uh, we all, the, all the working of the um, what do you call the uh, sense organ, uh, uh, starting with manas with uh, all the other ten, uh, 
one is one cannot remain without the other. So it is like Mahalakshmi. Right. Uh, that's true. But the, at the same time, at the same time, at the time of death, when the soul leaves the body, and the body is burned, the external injuries are gone. Yeah. The only the only the only the shukshma sharira is there. Yeah. Ativahi ativahika body, ativahika right. sharira. After Adivahi. cremation, after the cremation of the body, only the ativahika sharira is there. Right. But then, over the uh, we do the the rituals for ten days or twelve days, right. and we create the body of a preta, preta right. preta sharira. Right. So each day, each day there is a different uh, indriya, a different uh, shukshma indriya, which right. is created until we get this full preta body, preta right. sharira. Right. And then after one year, the preta sharira becomes a pitri, right? Yeah. After one year. Right. All right. But this uh, this process is this process is only for uh, people who are not Vaishnavas. For no. the Vais no, I mean the Vaishnavas do this, right? They also follow the shastras and they do these um, rituals for 12, 12 days. But uh, but uh, the soul of a Vaishnava goes by Achiradi Marga to right. Vaikuntam. Right. So the the soul, the soul, the Atman, the Jivatman of a of a normal person goes to Pitriloka. After one right. year, right. but uh, the right. Vaishnava he immediately goes. He doesn't have to wait for one year. Does he have to wait for one year? Yeah, because of, um, the one year is one day for the devas. No, he okay. is All right, maybe, and, maybe, uh, maybe even less than one day. Maybe one second. Yeah, the sapindi karanam must be done only after one year. But uh, we are we are so we are so fast. Now that we are we are in a stressful, uh, so we will not be able to go to a temple for one year. People That's are doing, people are people are not shaving and they are going they are not going to temple for one year. One year. But then but 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 then uh, but do we think that the 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 Vaishnava uh, Jivatman is going to Vaikuntha before one year, or is going or is going after only after one year? <laughs> no, no idea. About that. <laughs> because the regular Jivatman he has to wait for one year to go to Pitriloka. Right. Right. So as you said, Sapindikarnam. We also say, uh, I think, Ekodista Shraddha. Ekodista. The Ekodista Shraddham. After one year, then the then the person goes to Pitriloka. Yeah. But and he uh, joins with the other ancestor, the earlier ancestor. Yeah. That's what we call Sapindikaram. Sapindikaranam, and he has yeah. he his father is there, his grandfather is there, but his yeah. great grandfather has to leave. <laughs> right? Uh, o only th only three generations can stay, you know. That we say it in Tarpanam. But, uh, but in Pitriloka, there's only there's only father, grandfather, great grandfather, mother, grandmother, great grandmother, only right. only three, right? Three three right. generations. Right. So then they then uh, after three generations before, those fellows have to go to a uh, uh, rebirth, yeah. samsara. They have to go back to, they have to go back to another body, no? No, they, they can they can go to white room, sir, no. If not, uh, they uh, they can go to Vaikuntha. Why why not? Okay. They become they become released souls. Really? That's what uh, Shastras uh, may say. Okay, so so the normal person he go if his if his son if his if if his relatives are doing the the all the rituals. He will be elevated to Pitriloka. Right. Then, uh, then after three generations, he is going to go to Vaikuntha. Right. Really? Is there some shastra that, pramana for that? No, we have to find out. Yeah, I, I think yeah. we do have to find out. As you say, 
uh, we should we wait for three generations? Uh, no, sir, no, not we wait. Don't wait for three. We are not waiting for three generations. So, uh, so as soon as the father of the uh, I mean, person leaves this world, the then uh, end the life is over. Then uh, he goes to Pitraloka. And then uh, you don't, because you mentioned the name of the father, grandfather, and great grandfather, that doesn't mean they are they all the only all the day three are in Pitraloka and others are uh, gone out. No. Okay, but my but but uh, when we do the shradam, when we do yeah. the shradam and the tarpanam, it is to satisfy the the pitris, yeah. to satisfy the tripita tripita tripita, to satisfy yeah. the pitris. Yeah. So if we don't mention the names of other pitris, how are they satisfied? Should uh, we? That is why one uh, uh, the, the, the rituals uh, are not necessary for the. For the the, the, the uh, over the third, three generations, because we cannot, we don't remember our, many of them. Uh, for example, we know the you know the Gaya Shradha. There you have to give uh, the twenty-one generations. Twenty-one generations in in yeah. in, in in one ritual. Yeah, Pinda Pinda Pradhanam for twenty-one generations. Who is doing that? Yeah, everybody. Who knows? We are not mentioning. We are not mentioning the name. We don't oh, know the name. We don't know the names. Uh, but uh, so generally, we gave give the name in our, in our family, Srinivasa and Lakshmi. That's all. When you don't know the name, you simply mention the word Srinivasa. Srinivasa and Lakshmi. Okay. I see. Okay. So we have we have to offer Pinda Pradhanam for. Uh, Twenty-one generations. And when and do we, we when, when do we do that? When do we do that? Uh, that that ritual? Uh, any 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 time part of any time of your life, but generally after uh, parents uh, are dead. Okay, so you have, to, you have to you have to do dead. that once. Yeah. The guy. Sometimes this way also, when the parents are dead and then grandparents are alive, they can, you cannot do it. Oh, okay. So something like a Gaya Shraddha, you have to go yeah. to do the Gaya Shraddha one time. It is Gaya Shraddha. Oh, okay. So, so you have to go to Gaya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, but but uh, is it possible to do it without going to Gaya or not? Um, because we in the Shardham here, in the annual Shardham of parents, uh, we, we think of the uh, Gaya Shardham. We, we remember them that... Okay, we, so, we actually, so you think, you just think that you're in Gaya and you do it? Yeah, we feel but, we are doing it, we are doing for them in Gaya. But if possible, you can actually go to Gaya, if possible. Yeah, I, we went, we went. You, you went to Gaya and did it? Oh. We did it. Nice. Okay. So I think uh, Govindachari in the chat, he has some questions also. Yeah. Uh, you want to ask the questions directly, Swami, or? Sure. Uh, Swamiji, I'll just see if I could look at the questions again. Um, so I was just asking. Um, so when we do the Sapindi Karanam on mm. the 11th or the 12th day, mm. is that that we're doing that actually before time? We're only supposed to do that um, after one year. Yeah. Because I was, I was, okay, one second. He asked me to put my video on. Anyway, take off the mask. I'm reading the yeah, message, so, your message. Just one minute. Okay. Okay. Uh, Along this ritual, uh, isn't it that three by stars? Uh, right on here, Bhagavad Ajneya, Bhagavad Sankarya, uh, Sankarya. Uh, so I think Bhagavad it's for yeah, Bhagavad Kankarya Rupena. 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 Okay. Yeah, Rupena. this is in the Sun Kalpa, but I think his first question is that after we do the after we do the eleventh and twelfth days, thirteenth days yeah. ceremonies, 
normally we can we think the sapindi karna is that time right after 13 days or and mm. uh, and then we then we think that the the jiva is a preta mm. but after the jiva is a preta it's it still it takes one year for him to become a pitri right right Right. Because because I, w I read in one prayoga that from that point on, after you've done that Sapindi Karanam, you can't address the Jeeva as a Preta anymore. You're supposed to address the Jeeva as a Pitri. So is that yeah. incorrect? He doesn't become a Preta until after the year ceremony. Yeah, after Sapindi Karanam, they become Pitri. After they Sapindi pitri. Karanam, but the Sapindi Karanam is only after one year. But we are doing it on the 12th day, the immediately after. We're doing, it, so to, we're doing it on the 13th day or the 12th day. 12th, 12th day. 12th day, yeah. Yeah. Mm. But you also do it day, again on the year anniversary. 13th day, we call it Subhasvikara. Subhasvikara. Uh, yeah. But, and we then, can, we can, then we have, um, have, have mas, Masika Shraddhas. We have monthly yeah. Shraddhas. And then yeah. we have, then we have a Arda at six months, uh, we so, have so one. Soda Kumbham. Soda Kumbham. Yes, yeah, Soda Kumbham is every day. Should be every day. And but no, uh, especially, especially uh, just before Masya. Before Twelve Masya is there. Right before the Masika, you should do the Soda, uh, the Soda, soda Kumbham. But then uh, at the end of at the end of one year, you have the Ekodista Shraddha, and they yeah. are elevated to Pitri Loka. Right. And uh, okay. uh, Govindacharya uh, is asking through the SMS. Uh, it is definitely Bhagavad Agnaya, Bhagavad Kainkarya Rupena and Prithyatam. Both. Both. Bhagavad Kainkarya Rupena. Because, because, and... because we understand if our ancestors are Vaishnavas, that right. they will attain moksha. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. So you're just doing it to set it as an example for others who right. are not Vaishnavas. Right. Uh, your last sentence is not only setting an example. I mean, uh, for her one, my own satisfaction. I remember my ancestors. For, for by, I mean, and also I want to seek the, their blessing so that there will be no trouble in life. Also, now uh, it's very important that you must receive the parents' blessing. Uh, and uh, parents, parents, namely what we call ancestors. Not only three generations. But also 21 generation. And I mean, not 21, 21 is only a symbolic uh, number. Uh, that means endlessly. Then again, uh, the, uh, just like the parampara of Acharya goes up to the Lord, your, your Pitra also, your ancestors' parampara also goes up to the Lord because we are talking about Gotram, Rishi Gotram. So we, are, we, are, we have come down that on that Rishi. Now, who is that Rishi? There are so many sages. Uh, and uh, again, I have three. Someone, some, someone has five. Panchar and Trayar and so on. And then, so all the rishis came from the Lord. I mean, rather, rather Brahma, and then again Brahma from the Lord. So we are going up to the Lord. The, what do you call when you satisfy the means ancestors? It is also a satisfaction the Lord. And. Yes. Uh, it is in gratitude you remember, because yes. they brought you up, they, <clears throat> they gave you a lot of uh, comfort, uh, luxuries, and so on. Right, but, but uh, even even if we don't have the even if we don't have the knowledge of our gotra or our ancestors, still we have to accept that uh, ultimately we're all coming from Sriman Narayana. Right. So. And again, uh, as Govinda Chari wants to have a special status for Vaishnavas, no, all, all of them, all of us, no, irrespective of whether we are Vaishnavas or not. Yeah, because uh, my, my father was no Vaishnava, uh, you know. I did the Gaya Shrad, I did that yeah. Gaya Shrad, um, this okay. Pitripaksh, okay. and I intend to do it every single Pitripaksh. But the yeah. ceremony, I, the Prayoga I followed, it just offers 16 pindas, you know, for mm. all of the all ancestors, everyone who's you know and you don't know. It's a very nice ceremony. I recommend everyone should do that. So I will do that every right. Pitripaksh. Right. You know, very and good all, ceremony. And also, 
you can also give uh, give uh, give pinda to your cousins also who, who passed away uh, cousins yeah. friends friends cousins friends also yes. cousins and it's included friends. it's all included in that yeah. shradam teachers you are teachers <laughs> yes everyone everyone anyone who is connected to you in any way you offer that um, gaya shradam I which is very it, nice i did for i did for my uncle's son uh, It, uh, he is exactly of my age. He passed away a few years ago. Unfortunately, uh, on, the, on on his year of death, I went to Gaya. Then uh, remembered his name also to be added. So, right. Uh, so the but, in 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 addition to the pituitary paksha, yeah. then the most important other shrads that one should do after you have completed the one year ceremony. is that right. on the anniversary every year of your father's passing his titi and your mother's passing her titi right um you do it by titi or you do it by nakshatra that's one titi. question titi 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 good so no, you do it by titi is only for birth you can celebrate okay. the anniversary uh, the star day star birthday every year also even after uh, uh, 100 years you can uh, celebrate Uh, right. many people are many people are <coughs> celebrating satamanam satamanam is 100th uh, birth anniversary of the parent uh, but uh, but again i wanted to tell you just now uh, 96 uh, days of 365 days one has to do tarpanam according to shastra so uh, tarpanam is exactly the sadham Uh, what do you call darsha shraddha pratinidhi tarpanakyam karma karishe so, so we have a very simple way of doing it is tarpanam the elaborate way of doing it is inviting people preparing lot of food and uh, only one the last small difference between uh, shri vaishnavas and others is uh, the, the food prepared He is offered to pitrus, rather what is called uh, guests, which whom we invited. Whereas we, as Sri Vaishnavas, we offer only first to Ram Sri Man Narayana, and only offer to pitrus. This is what is called pitru, Vaishya Deva, and Vishnu. The three people, three you can invite three. Uh, but so this uh, is interesting. So one of the when we do the when we do the shraddha when we in when we invite the three the three persons to come and one person is representing uh pitru pitru one person is representing uh ashwini deva vishwai deva vishwai deva not ashwini ha uh, vishwai deva i'm sorry vishwai pitris vishwai deva and vishnu vishnu so my question here is the shri vaishnava is first of all we are offering all the all the food for that ceremony we offer all that food to shriman narayana mm-hmm. afterwards in we give to in tiruvaradam yeah and mm-hmm. after that tiruvaradam then the 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 three brahmans come and we it, we it, we we feed them yeah and we consider that they are vishvadevas and pitris ah. and vishnu right that brahman we consider to be vishnu we are feeding food that we already fed to vishnu <laughs> is it correct <laughs> can, you can, are, Vish, can vishnu eat his prasadam again yeah he has come physically representing vishnu we were uh, we, we actually though though uh, we have to feel the, uh, that lord vishnu has taken our food in flesh and blood generally we we always offer it of the food uh, in, in mentally in throughout our Yeah, in mental, uh, yeah. So phys- yeah, practically and physically, we are offering the person to right. whom you call him. Right. He's only so a present. I was thinking it's a difficult. It's difficult because that person is a Sri Vaishnava Brahman, so yeah. he doesn't want to take any food which is not uh, prasadams of Sri Manarayana. So right. when he comes yes, to your house, you're feeding him prasadams from your Tiruvaradhanam, right. and he's eating it. But because yes. he is representing Vishnu. he should actually take the fresh food and not the prasadams <laughs> of shrimanarayana uh 
that is why I said the C V C V stars have the particular uh, discipline. Yeah, and but other other people are uh, giving them are not like smarters. When smarters, they, they give when, fresh food to they fresh give fresh food. food. To the they give fresh food to these three Brahmins. Yeah. But uh, in smarter households, sometimes they offer they, they offer the food to they, they have some devatas they offer food to? No. They directly uh, give it to the Brahmins. When but sm smarters are doing Panchopasana Puja. They are doing it Panchayatana Puja, but uh, they are not offering first food to God. They are first offered to Pitra and Vishadeva and Vishnu, and then, and then. Uh, so, so, mm -hmm. the, so that Panchayat and Apuja is just separate. Separate. Yeah. So, when they offer something to the to the to the to the Pancha Devatas in Panchayat right. Apuja, it is only right. a small offering, only small thing, right. some fruits right. or some small things. Mm -hmm. But the main the main uh, food which is cooked is not offered at all to anybody. Only to those right. three Brahmins. Right. In so this language. is the difference between uh, Sri Vaishnavas and... Uh, also, one difference is there. Some Vaishnavas, they're performing the, the Shraddha on the annual Shraddha on the Titi. But if the Titi comes on a codicy, can we mm. do it? Um, the, the, pro the problem with the, here is the difference between Sandhacharya Sampradaya and uh, when, when the people die on Ekadashi day, uh, they don't perform Shraddham on Ekadashi. They yeah. perform it on Godashi. Yeah, Tanacharyas wait till the next day. Yeah. Right, because there has to be some fasting on Ekadashi. Right. So, so, so it, the, my question, but the uh, Deshika Sampradaya, they do it on Ekadashi. Yeah. So that means... If you if if you do this uh, this annual shraddha, whether you invite three Brahmins, it means right. you must invite uh, Vadagalai Sri Vaishnavas. Yeah, and, uh, and both of us, the Karta and the um, invited Brahmin, will take uh, the food, which are generally not to be taken on Ekadashi. Right. So this is also an exception, a vikalpa. Yeah. Yeah. That that on the annual Shraddha day, if it comes yeah. on a courtesy, you right. will be taking full rice, and the, right. also those three Brahmins also will be taking full rice. Right. So it so when you invite the the Brahmins to come, if you mm. you you don't you'll never invite uh, Tenacharya Sampradaya Brahmins to come. No no no. Uh, not only what I say, anyway, but today and that's what I was discussing with my friend or smarter friend. Huh. I said, why don't you employ Iyengar Brahmins for Shraddha and why don't Then he was asked, in turn asked me, he asked me in turn that, but do you employ higher Brahmins in, in your Shraddha? So, so between Tengale and Vatagale, there is no difference. Because so, so, because so, so the thing is, you just have to invite any Brahmin. So, so... Yeah. It, if you if not you, any Brahmin in the end, we don't invite smartas and madhvas. You don't invite smartas and madhvas to take uh, the the pinda, right. the, that, right. that 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 uh, annual shraddha Radha. food, yes. annual shraddha. Yeah. No, no madhvas. Why not madhvas? Madhvas are supposed to be Vaishnavas too, isn't it? Yeah. See, madhvas. <laughs> first of all, first of all, if there's a courtesy, if it's on a courtesy, madhvas are not going to eat anything. Yeah, Mad madhvas are more strict at taking do yeah, fast yeah. so you wouldn't invite madras if it's coming on a courtesy you can't invite madras but right. but you say normally if it comes on any day you will never yeah. invite madras you'll never invite uh, smarter. Uh, smarter you should invite other sri vaishnavas yeah where in, you can either watergalize or tangalize it doesn't matter not enough but they should be brahmins yeah. There are so, so many qualifications. A wife should be alive. They should have done Veda Dhenam. They have to come in Swarupam. Yeah, they have to wear everything. They should be Grihastas. No, not come in Swarupam. They must have been adopting Swarupam daily. <laughs> I see. So, so we, have, we have to observe these people. Yeah.
and and also this is what I was thinking it's very difficult to do this type of shroud, isn't it? Right. Yeah, and if, then if and, you're in the West. Yeah, but then then these people also have to they have to they they have to do some parihara afterwards. They have to do some prayers. Yeah, they have to them. they have to do japa of Gayatri. If it is annual shraddha, yeah, they have to do it 108 times. So they have to do afterwards. They have to do Gayatri 108 times japa mm -hmm. as a atonement for doing that. Yeah. They also yeah. they also I, uh, Krishna Kumar was telling me they cannot do it again within six months or so. Next, I yeah. think. No, next day you cannot have Varshika Shraddha. You can have one day gap. I see. They can. They they have to give it one day gap. They, yeah. So they can they can go to another Shraddha. They can do somebody yeah. else's Shraddha, but they must give one day gap. Yeah. And they have to do one hundred. Then uh, in the Echo Dishan, they have to keep one year gap. If they do a, if they do an an if they do the one year ceremony for somebody and they go and eat at that one. Then yeah. they have to. Then they have to one, uh, wait one year before they go to any other shraddha, or only to no, another. I'm talking of the eleventh day. Eleventh day invitation. Uh, when you are invited for the eleventh day, okay. Echo system. Okay. Then you have to avoid going to any shraddha for one year. I see. And again, uh, ten thousand uh, times of joy. For Echo Dista Shraddha, to eat yeah. the Echo Dista Shraddha, you have to do 10,000 japas of Gayatri. Right. Okay. That feast has to Sapindi, be something really far out. Sapindi Karanam, you have to do it uh, uh, 5,000. 5,000 for Sapindi Karanam, Echo Dista 10,000. Yes. Normal, normal, 108. Oh, the annual, annual, annual Shraddha is. 108. Masika on monthly and annual. 108. Ma monthly masyam. Masyam we have to do 500. Masyam we have to do 500. Yeah. Okay. All of these things are written in uh, in somewhere. Uh, no, yeah, in, I, I think it's not written in there. Orally transferred. Yeah, it may be in this uh, uh, Shmiti Muktas Palam. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. In Shmiti yeah. Muktapalam, probably. Yeah. yeah. We have to look it up. I but what I wanted to clarify, Swami, is that you can, as you said, 96, 96 tarpanams. This is the most important thing per year. You do 96 tarpanams, which is simple. It's just, you know, what they call like nitya tarpanam, isn't it? Yeah. And that yeah. can cover everything for the entire year if you do the 96 tarpanams. And then on the, the death anniversary titi, if you can't feed the Brahmins, then you can also do it either by Tarpan Rupam or you can do it by um, Homa Rupam, correct? Right. Or Hiranya Rupam. Because you, you may not be able to find Brahmins where you are. No, uh, when we are not able to do this, then, uh, then we, have, we can uh, we have the option for Hiranya and Homa. Hiranya is always called Homa. But generally, when you are capable of doing it, you are not supposed to. When you're capable of doing it, you should not do the Hiranya Rupa. You should not give just money. Right. Sometimes you can just do it by giving money. Even sometimes yeah, people that's, that's do the Nandi. Rama or Hiranya. What is the first one? Rama? Uh, Hiranya or Ama. Ama Rupa. Ama. 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 A -A 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 -A. Ama means? I have to find out the meaning. Mm -hmm. I thought it was uncooked food, Ama. Ah, uh, oh, okay, food. uncooked food. Yeah. So Ama and Hiranya, Hiranya. So you give money and uncooked food. Yeah. Sometimes so then for someone in the money. West. So for someone in the West on the Titi, and if they don't have the Brahmins, they can do the Homa Rupam, and then they could do the Ama and Hiranya. Right. On the on the Titi. Okay, that's good. But then in '96. Tarpanams is the 12 yes. Amavasyas, the, sang, the 12 Sankramanams, and then what are the, that's, what, that's only 24. <laughs> you, you, want, you, want to have the, you want to have the number? Uh, um, I mean, we we discussed yeah. this before, years ago, in, in yeah. Akila. In, now you can take any issue of Vaidika Shri, you will get all the uh, days and dates of particular year. 
for example, 2020 or 2019. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, editor passed away recently. Uh, otherwise, we will have the perfect. Uh, you can uh, consult the earlier issues um, of Vaidhi Kashri. Yeah. Okay. I, I can find that. I can find that for him. So yeah. this, we were discussing also. Remember, in we were discussing this in Akila years ago, and uh, and you said that most people are not doing the ninety six. Most people yeah, are doing yeah. only very rare. Very rarely people do. Right. So when you don't do the ninety six, people are doing only in certain months. Which months 24. are they doing? Twenty four. And again, uh, I'm out out of twenty four. Uh, we we mean the people do twelve and four only. Twelve and four, which are uh, the twelve amavasya's new moon day and four months sankramana. All, all the sankramanas is no no. Uh, no 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 twelve twelve amavasya's new moon days twelve new moon days four and four sankramana days. Four sankrantis and when are the four, which yeah. which four which four sankrantis? Chitra. Chitra, ah, Tamil Adi. What is that Adi? <laughs> Chitra. Do you tell? Just tell the Tamil names. Chitra Adi. Chitra Adi. Tula Aipashi and Thai. Chitra Adi to Aipashi and Thai. Thai. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Next month uh, Tula. The coming month is Tula. Uh, those who are doing for four months, they have to do it on. So, so that's the minimum. That's the minimum. Minimum, minimum, yeah. That's the minimum. Do the, do the, do the, all the Amavasyas four sankram. and four, four, and four Sankrantis. That's the minimum. We don't call Sankranti, but Sankramana. Sankramana, okay. Sankramana. Do you also do any eclipses? Pardon? He says, we're in Grahanam. In the Grahanam. Grahanam yeah. yeah, Grahanam. Grahanam is a Naimitikam, what you call. Naimitikam one has to do. Last time, the, uh, a week ago, Amavasya, New Moon Day and Sankaranam came on one, the, the same day. We can't have two Tarpanams on the same day. And uh, uh, Narasimha Priya, uh, arranging its uh, uh, rules were, some people do it in some families, though you do it. So uh, when you when you when your family does it, so here the problem is uh, the, the the procedure is very simple. In sankalpam, in sankalpam we mentioned it as sankaramana punya kalle, kanyaravi sankaramana punya kalle, amavasya ayam. You have to add cha. That's all. <laughs> So, so you, so you do one tarpana. It does double duty. It's a double sankalpa. Double sankalpa and one time tarpana. Right. Very good. Uh, I think uh, I, I, I'm, I'm afraid that people others uh, may not be interested. In <laughs> no, no, they're all interested. Okay, so <laughs> one thing. Okay. So also for doing the nandi, nandi shraddha. Yeah. yeah. Nandi, Nandi comes whenever we do some special function. Yeah, marriage, marriage, for example. Yeah. When so, I am. so the Nandi, some people are doing the Nandi only by Hiranya Rupa. But, no, no, uh, no, 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 should no. not be done. No, it, uh, not, uh, not Hiranya Rupa. Nandi Shardam is done uh, with the nine uh, invitees. Nine? Yeah. Dr. Pranatati Hiranya is here to answer this. Okay, so we have to have nine nine Brahmins. Yeah, and they each each one of them represents some gods. Do we have to feed them also? Yeah, feed them all definitely. Okay. Plus so that, Hiranyam. That's plus, a, Hiranyam. plus Hiranyam. Yeah. Okay. So that that's a big. Uh, that's the biggest one. The biggest, uh, yeah. biggest ritual is doing the Nandi. And, and uh, you will be asking the question because Madam is there. Uh, we have uh, Tumangali Prarthana where, where uh, a lady has passed away uh, while, uh, while uh, her 
husband was alive for uh, every every for every marriage uh, sumangali prarthana is done and sumangali prarthana is just a shraddha they prepare the same type of food item and then uh, give uh, give odd number of ladies uh, for five seven nine whatever be your capacity you can uh, offer uh, sari uh, so many things and plus food and they are they are they are, they are asked to take uh, oil bath on that day just like any other shraddha even our our invite is uh, should be made to take oil bath on that. Okay. This this uh, ap apara karma is uh, very uh, complex for yeah, me. It's very not, very not, complex. Not very complex because darsha shraddha pratinidhi telata pranakyam karma for ninety six days. You simply use the gingerly, rather the same seeds and water. The only thing is, have to be remembered. And if uh, a, a very old man loses his father at the age of 80, because people are now living 96, 97, so at the age of 80, one may not be able to remember the mantras. You have to invite a priest to help you. Otherwise, uh, 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 normal. Uh, uh, in the young age, when they lose their parents, they are they are able to remember the mantras very easily. The mantras are not very difficult also. Mantras are not very difficult, but as you said, Sanskrit knowledge, if, it, if, it, if there is Sanskrit knowledge, then, then it's very easy. Very easy. You can also find or find uh, mistakes in the priest also. <laughs> Right. Okay. So, so do we do we finish? Go finish you today. also offer. Uh, yeah. Do you also? Oh. Okay. Now I was just going to ask about. Uh, I was reading that you also offer white sesame for the female ancestors and black sesame for the male ancestors. Is that correct, or is it only black sesame? And the last question was. Um, um, if you know that certain generations, no shrad was offered for them, no tarpana was offered for them, but you have now started because your parents have died and you start offering, um, you know, for grand great grandparents, etc., like that, would that still be beneficial to them? That's kind of like a bit of a technical question because isn't it that we're offering it um, in the name of Sriman Narayana anyway? So that's the way that they will benefit, if that makes any sense. Uh, so it, it, his first question is do is, do you ever use the white sesame or only black can you Which use one? The, oh, sesame okay yeah no 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 white no white even for the ladies it cannot be white yeah, no tarpanam will have no white only the black yeah the white will be used for only snacks the white is used for snacks. <laughs> or even sea jainty. Sea jainty. We can have snacks. We can have snacks with the white, yeah. And the other, qu the other question was, um, if you know that when your parents pass away, then you do the, start doing the shraddhas. But you know that before that, the, they were not doing, your father and mother, your father was not doing shraddhas. And your grandfather was not doing the shraddhas and tarpanas, but still you start to do for the different generations. Everybody gets benefit, yes? They still yeah, get benefit. That is also there. Then I, I go to the next generation. So, um, uh, the, my, my, I have no son now. So the, there is a stoppage of uh, shraddha to me. Yeah, of course, you're still living, so hopefully uh, you don't no, no, need no. shraddhas for a while. It? Why is oh. it? it? No, no. For those who are no issues, yeah, shraddhas are stopped. Shraddhas are stopped. Right. And then, uh, and then, uh, perhaps uh, I mean, uh, I actually, I when I do tarpanam, uh, I I mention my 
maternal grandfather also. So in that case also, um, my my grandson, my actually daughter's son, um, I think may not mention my name. Okay, he, so he, you, you want to train you want to train up your grandchildren to to be able to do the shraddha after after you pass away. Yeah, I mean, no, no, that he will, he will talk, he will, uh, he will tell uh, his own maternal uh, grandfather. Uh, so the, the problem is, um, according to Raghuvamsa, uh, we say look uh, here. I think in Bhagavad Gita also, lupta pindor laka kriya. <laughs> So their their uh, their uh, shada is stopped, and uh, therefore they will be hanging in the uh, uh, what you call pitra loka. Uh, that's what uh, we say. But uh, for a prapanna, there is nothing. Yeah, for prapannas, there's no there's no worries, ma But but uh, for other people, the what, the pitris who don't get the shada. So the Shraddha was started by one generation and they right. did all the, they did everything, the Sapindikarna, the Ekodista, and they elevated that person to the Pitri Loka, right? Yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, then afterwards, the next, then that person dies and the next generation didn't do anything. Yeah. Then that person is in uh, Pitri Loka yeah. and uh, the grandfather is in Pitri Loka and he's not getting any, uh, he's not getting any any, cool. Yeah, cool. even even his son may not even come to Pitri Loka because the grandson has not done the uh, Sapindi Karna or the Ekodista. Right. So grandfather is sitting alone without food in Pitri Loka. The right. grandson is a preta or something. He's he's roaming about in this uh, earthly plane, <laughs> and yeah. the grand the, the the son and the grandson is still living. And then the great grandson again takes up giving the pitri the pitri right. shraddha. Then everybody gets satisfied, and the and the people who yeah. were not doing anything they also get elevated. Yeah. Okay. I going that question. We already said they are, everybody gets benefit. Everybody gets benefit. Okay. Good. So so even and again even for the again, smartest, everybody will get benefited. Right. And again, today today's situation is. The next generation is not interested in doing sadha. They are not doing it. But the, but then again, there's also some rituals where we off where we make offerings for people we don't even know. Like uh, so I there is also some mantra. There's a mantra in Shraddha where we say if if my mother if I have another father if my father yeah. is a different nyata, person. Nyata. Nyata, nyata. Yeah. So if I if unknown. I have if I have an unknown biological father, that person right. also should get uh, some shraddha. He should right. also get some uh, some satisfaction. And also, yeah. when we do the nitya, when we do the shnana every day, yeah. we are we are wringing out the the cloth which we right. which we uh, do take bath in, and the water right. which comes from the from the from the cloth we wring out, we say that water should go for uh, people who. People who are not getting tarpanas from anybody else, yeah. right? Some poor people, maybe, or right. dip, uh, people who don't have the knowledge to do the tarpana, then right. then uh, we give the water from our cloth. That is that is only in Pitra Paksha, namely Mahalaya Paksha. Okay, so that's the, all, that is only when we do the bath in Mahalaya Paksha when we do that. Right. Every day right. we're not offering. Right. So once a year, once a year, we give even for strangers, Tarpana. Right. Nice. Very so, good. To, to, today we cannot expect that the next generation to perform sad. Uh, let's see. So many, so many, uh, so many cultural things are being lost. Hopefully, we can uh, we can in, try to get people educate so, people. The, the point is, we have to remember in gratitude uh, our ancestors. That is, a, that is a, that the principle behind it. It's not a question of you are feeding people and uh, inviting for... My, my friend used to say, I used to feed uh, seven people on Mahalaya Paksha and I will give them dhoti, veshti, 
uh, in in rich i mean a rich uh, variety of weight he has got he he takes pride in saying that we are performing Color shape. I think it's very important. It's nice to know. I'm 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 so happy that Keshodas and Goindacharya so much interest. I don't think any of our people, about any of our people, my relation relations. Right. There's so much interested in what you know. So much knowledge you both have. No, yeah, he has. Uh, he he has a lot of. Remarkable. He has gone into so many. It's big. Yeah, tears in my eyes. It's really fantastic. It's, Yeah. The genuineness, the genuineness. No, he wants. He wants to understand the principle, yeah. I mean, yeah. the procedure and the uh, yeah. procedure. But I am interested in principles. <laughs> but still, to get to get an acharya like this, also, uh, we are yeah. all blessed to who can talk freely and have time to yeah. all this. And, uh, no, I I used to repeat all this one. When you are alive, you must be taken care of more. Yeah. <laughs> then after after you are like yeah no no I did a lot of things to my mother after his death uh, after her death you know that is uh, uh, I offered uh, I my my friend used to say no uh, you are you are a miser and therefore uh, on your birthday or on the death day of your parent you must go to a anatha ashram the orphanage. Then uh, give help to some people there. Uh, give your money or offer food or something. This is the right way of doing service uh, to the man. Means ancestors will be satisfied once you do anadanam for. Uh, but you are going giving rich people. You are inviting rich people. <laughs> Arguing like that. That's but true. I said uh, I I cannot bring a beggar on my side. Mother stopped that day and feed him because uh, there are so many <laughs> ifs and buts. <laughs> we cannot explain. Yeah, we can. We, we can. We can do social service as well. We. It is not. We. It is not a. It is not a zero sum game. It is not that we nah. can only feed the beggars and not feed the brahmins. We can feed the brahmins, yeah. and we yeah. can also feed the beggars. We can right. feed everybody. We should do it just like in the when, temple in Sri Ram Temple. We need not have, do it on those days also. No, we can, we can do it on other days. We can do it in any day. Yeah. We can fit either at uh, Sri Rangam Temple. They have Anadanam. Also in Tirupati, they have Anadanam. Does it mean yeah. there? That does it mean they also don't? They also in Tirupati they sell ladus also. Yeah. They'll give you small free ladu. If you want big one, yeah. you have to buy it. That's all. Yeah. So, so. For people who are rich, they can purchase the prasadams, and people who are poor, they can get the free prasadams. Everybody right. should get the prasadams. That's the thing. Right. No problem. So totally now uh, we 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 like we know we like that you are interested in the principles. We are also mm -hmm. interested in the principles, but uh, but also the details. And we think that you are interested in the principles because you were you are like a principal for us. You are the <laughs> principal of the school. You know, we are, we are we all know, students. You no, know, because we are we know the procedure, but uh, others may not know fully the procedure. The meaning, the yeah. See, people. That's the reason why people give up the rituals is because they yeah. don't know the principles behind the rituals. Right. So they think the and ritual also, is meaningless. I, I, and that's why I would go to the extent of saying they didn't don't understand the meaning because while doing tarpanam. We are praying for money also. Dada to rainche, dirgha, itanche, chata shara danche. I want to live for hundred years, and I want money. <laughs> I want to be. I want to be wealthy. So when you when you invoke the parents, uh, the dead parents, ancestors on the what they call bugnam, the darba grass, you tell them like this. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't. I don't know whether the parents have a power to give you the money, except no, no, by the inheritance. Through, no, by true parents we will pray to the Lord. They gave them the the principle. I think Sri Vaishnava is not uh, interested. Maybe not interested in the in the money part of it. So it, many things may come in the mantras, but but uh, as you say, no, God is God is working through us. No money in the sense of well wealthy life, rich life, 
con con content and like it is not the question of money in the sense what is called the, the rupee rupee but right dollar so so i think uh, i think we will take shelter of vedanta deshika's vairagya panchakam yeah <laughs> and uh, we will consider any any life as a vaishnava even a poor vaishnava we will consider to be a very wealthy life as long as we have the knowledge and the service of shri manarayana that will be enough for us yes yes correct <laughs> as a poor man you will not think of a god oh i see uh, so frequently first frequently. First, frequently. first first you should first you should become economically wealthy and then afterwards you will think of god right i see okay <laughs> this may be the normal Because, process i agree that is that is why i say to madam that uh, many foreigners uh, learn many things because they are basically comfortable physically uh, otherwise because we are fighting for every day food though though we may just, uh, think of god and we will all we will also start cursing the god because he is keeping me poor and so on so then uh, we will we will not do any learning we will not learn any book but to get the talk today today, yes. today the present problem immediate problem is online class is not effective you see but the children the uh, today yesterday one boy uh 10th uh, 10th grade boy committed suicide because the phone was not provided to him by the parents uh to to attend online class no it's a, it's a extreme case uh but uh, the problem is poverty the school the, the school government the government is itself is poor he is not able to provide the education the government school cannot provide proper education lot of corruption and then for uh, rich colleges like um, ours uh, some colleges are ready to offer by internet the online class but uh, the, the takers are minimum takers are minimum because in our college there was a policy for option for the poor option for the poor the poor student cannot afford to buy any gadget then how can i have on online class the online class is not effective also. because the teachers are not prepared of <laughs> the teachers are not prepared and now now the sanskrit college and tiruvayar uh, the professors should develop what a, a program for or the other uh, a youtube video they must uh, prepare for a youtube video by which they have to uh, help students learn something and uh, today one uh, one of my students is facing a problem uh, she is appearing for final semester masters degree in sanskrit uh, and uh, now the college gives you a time frame four hours three hours of uh, exam then one hour for a login to uh, uh, download the question paper and uh, after writing your paper you must scan it and upload it so one hour is given a time frame of one hour is given and within that one hour you must upload if you don't upload your scanned uh, uh, answer paper You, you are examined. It's cancelled. Uh, how to do it? Uh, my uh, the, the the beauty is my student's wife. My student's wives. There are two students, and the, both of them have their wives you know, studying in the. I mean, appearing for this final semester of MA Sanskrit. So <laughs> I was discussing the problem with him, with the student. and then uh, so they are now facing the problem a yeah, rich college can offer internet but the yeah, what is what about the poor student uh, the 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 this uh, one of one of the one of uh, one of the candidate for the ma is the, he is depending 
on this PG qualification for her career to earn because her husband is poor. So the problem is like this. So it's not possible. It's very, very difficult. So to tide over these problems, we have to pray to Lord. That's all. Kavitar ki kasimha ye kalyana gunashali ne Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha